Good day. Today we will be doing a meme review of the first two episodes of House of the Dragon. Before we go into the meme review, I would like to give a small background information. I have my old copy of Game of Thrones over here. Let's see what Game of Thrones says about House Targaryen. It said that it's the the old dynasty, and there's a small description about House Targaryen. The Targaryens are the blood of the dragon descended from the high lords of the ancient freehold of Valeria. Their heritage proclaimed in a striking, some say inhuman beauty, with lilac or indigo or violet eyes and hair of silver gold or platinum white. Yeah, that's what we saw with da uh, Daenerys. Aegon, the dragon's ancestors, escaped the doom of Valeria and a chaos and slaughter that followed to settle on Dragonstone, a rocky island in the narrow sea. It was from there that Aegon, Aegon and his sisters Viseria and Rhaenys sailed to conquer the Seven Kingdoms. To preserve the blood royal and keep it pure, House Targaryens have often followed the Valerian custom of wedding brother to sister. Aegon himself took both his sisters to wife and fathered sons of each. The Targaryen banner is a three-headed dar dragon, red on black, the three heads representing Aegon and his sisters. The Targaryen words are fire and blood. Now let's look at the family tree over here. Generis, who we saw in the first episode, is actually the grandson of Aegon. If you check out the list of the kings, you would find that it is Aenys who became king after the death of Aegon. And after Aenys' death, Maegor became the next king. And since Maegor did not have a proper heir, Generis became the king. So the idea that if you don't have a heir, your the sons of your brother would become a king is already prevalent. Generis marries his own sister and begets four children. And if you notice, Balin has married Alyssa and their son is Viserys who plays a very important role in House of the Dragon. And then you have Rhaenyra, the daughter of Viserys and Anima. If you check out this family tree, you will also know that Rhaenys is a very important person who could challenge Viserys when it comes to succession. That's when you get this scene which you saw in the beginning of House of the Dragon. Generis called the Great Council to prevent a war being fought over his succession. Yeah, the only thing that could tear down the House of the Dragon was itself. The exposition that we find in the first episode of House of Dragon is just brilliant. You get to see all those characters, you get to see their history, their motives and the scenes are taken so beautifully. And you get the famous tournament scene, which is intercut with the labor of Aima. And that's actually a painful scene. And it's quite thrilling at the same time. Intercutting is used very beautifully throughout the first episode. I also like the intercutting between Rhaenyra's ascension as the heir to the throne and Viserys' advice to Rhaenyra. Now let's get on with the memes. Millie Alcock has done a great job as Rhaenyra and her performance actually elevates the first two episodes and her famous saying, when I am queen, I will create a new order, questioning the order of things, actually gives us the vibes that she means business. The actor who plays Viserys also does a very good job and we are reminded of Ned Stark from G Game of Thrones season 1 when you think of Viserys. Actually, he is a man of wisdom and a man of justice. Yet, he is a misfit in the world created by George R. R. Martin. Here, a quest for justice or being a wise man, being good, being virtuous, doesn't actually matter. You must sometimes be bad to be good. That's what works in the world of Game of Thrones. Damon is a character that actually knows this. Now Damon is getting a lot of fans in the internet. People are wondering whether he's a good guy or a bad guy. 
but there is something about him that's very attractive that makes people believe that he's going to win using his sly and cunning tricks another thing i noticed in the internet is that damon is getting a lot of male fans the same way ranira is getting a lot of female fans but who knows the opposite can also be true by the way i'm a big fan of ranira i felt the same while reading the book too though the show has made a lot of changes from the book i think those changes are all for the good and it will work out quite well for ranira and she will get more fans in the future but for some reason my second favorite female character from house of the dragon has to be alison high water the things she achieves just with a history book is just amazing the emotional scenes that she has with ranira in the second episode was actually quite good and well done and we were able to empathize with both these characters after this scene such a scene does not happen in the book because ranira is way younger in the book i also feel sorry for both of them because we know those who have read the book know what is going to happen to them and we all know the story of the dance of the dragons we also hope that damon had someone better to argue his case before the king instead of pissing off the king every time he also needs better advisors because most of the things he does are quite stupid from one perspective this video won't be complete if i don't mention how beautiful those dragon stone scenes in episode 2 are they are just beautiful and epic hope house of the dragons keeps us excited in its coming episodes thank you